Mr. Prime Minister, you will be aware of the usual way to describe conferences as of historical importance. This time, there may be some truth in this hackneyed phrase, for when we review the wide range of subjects which will need our attention during this session, I cannot avoid the impression that it may indeed mark an important time both in East-West and in Atlantic relations. Gradually, confrontation, conflict, animosity, and suspicion, which characterized for so long the relations between the two spheres of the European continent, are yielding to the beneficial effects of a dialogue. Speech it is not man's only faculty for communication with his fellow men, nor can a dialogue then be the panacea for all evils. But there is hope for a better future, a future to which all Europeans and the trusted transatlantic partners will contribute their share as nations as well as individuals. 